guys, it's Tori. Welcome to my channel or welcome if you're new. So I wanted to do something a little bit different today, but I wanted to sublimate. So I bought this online. It's a photo slate. So it came in here and we're going to go ahead and open it. I thought this was super cool. It is like a little slab of like slate, I guess is what it is. And um, it comes with a stand that you use. So it would go like this. That's pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is sublimate on this and it's my first time. So if it works out, then you should be able to do it too. <laughs> so um, I did a little research though. And from what I found out, it's best if you use like this silicone rubber mat because it helps like distribute when you sublimate, it helps distribute that color throughout, so it's more even. But I ordered one and I'm not gonna get it till later today and I'm super impatient and I wanna get started. So I am going to try it without. So we'll do that. If it doesn't work, then I ordered four of these. So we'll try it again. So let's get started. I'm gonna head on over to Cricut Design Space and I'm going to print a photo that I wanna place on here and I'm going to print it to my Epson and use sublimation ink, sublimation printer, sublimation paper. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're in Cricut Design Space and we're going to make a template. So let's go to shapes. And I'm going to do a rectangle that kind of has the curves because that is how the slate is just on the portion where the white portion where you're going to sublimate. And the dimensions of the slate is um, 5.9 by 7.9 but when you sublimate on it you want to make sure that image that you're going to sublimate is bigger than the slate so I am going to make the size 6.1 by 8.1 so it's larger and let's go ahead and do it do 8.1 here because the way I'm going to do the photo is landscape by 6.1 so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead, I already have an image. We just need to adjust it. And let's see, and bring to a front. And then let me go ahead and bring this to front. Let's see. So, so this is my brother who passed away and I love him so much. And I want to have a nice portrait of him, you know, that, that I remember him by and so I want to put it on here so this is what we're gonna do so I think this is perfect it's large enough so we are leaving room to wrap the sublimation paper around the slate and we're going to tape it securely so let's go ahead and get rid of this template we can just close it out and then you know what I need to do is probably change my paper to 11 by 14 so let's go to settings and load type and I need to change this to illegal and now we are ready to hit bake it and mirror the image and again you need to when you print it out on your printer you need to make sure that you place the image the way that you see it right here on the mat so the Cricut knows how to cut the image and now send to printer and let's change it to the Epson again. I'm going to leave the bleed on and I love to use system dialog because when you hit print, it takes you directly to printing preferences, which you always need to check out before you print. So you know that whatever you're printing is in its best quality. So let's go ahead and change it here again and then preferences. And now we need to change it to legal here. And then let's just make sure that nothing else is selected, like obviously not reverse order or collate or anything. You don't need any of that. More options. And you want to make sure the rotate high speed and mirror are, are not on because we are mirroring in Cricut Design Space for this specific one. I mean, if you don't want to mirror in Cricut Design Space, of course you can mirror here. Then we hit advanced and we have color control. And for the Epson, for the color mode, I do Adobe RGB Gamma 2.2. And then you'll want to adjust your color corrections to your preferences. And then let's hit OK. 
and hit OK. And I'm going to go ahead and load the Epson and we're going to go ahead and hit print. The photo just came off the sublimation printer. Remember, we are going to load it on the mat just like you see it on the left hand side right here in this little image here. And I'm going to go ahead and select laser paper because the consistency of the sublimation paper is pretty much the same. And you know what, maybe I'm going to do a little bit more and then let's go ahead and load it and then we're just going to go ahead and cut it and get started. So I am going to follow the directions on, on Amazon. They had directions just kind of listed. It said to do it at 360 degrees for 450 to 600 seconds. So we're, we'll just go with the 600 seconds. So first thing you want to do is get a lint roller and you want to clean it super good. Make sure you get up any like debris and you won't keep in mind, you're not going to see anything anyway but it's there. So you know what? I feel safer using alcohol. So what, I, I, what I've seen is to use this, but I haven't seen that you can't use alcohol. So let's go ahead and just take a little alcohol like we usually do with the tumbler. We'll wipe it on and then dry it. So I am just wiping this part right here. Really, 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 really good. Okay, and then we're gonna dry it. And obviously you want to make sure it's super dry. You don't want to put the photo on there if it's not completely dry. And take the photo and to place it on here so I can make sure that the image is on there because I can kind of see like a little shadow of the image and we want to center it down. And obviously you want to make sure that it is centered and it's so let's slowly pick this up and I'm going to take some tape and just kind of bend it over and tape it like that okay and then I'm going to do the same on the top and again I'm using heat, heat resistant heat resistant tape And I am going to, I'm going to think I'm going to use a lot of tape just because I want to make sure that it stays flat, pressed against the slate. Since obviously we're not using the shrink wrap like we normally would. So I'm just pulling the tape really tight. You might as well just use a lot of tape and make sure it's secure. Kind of going around here. Have you ever noticed that sublimation tape really doesn't stick that well? I've tried different brands too. I mean it sticks but it's not like it's not like scotch tape. We are going to sublimate this on my HTV Ront Auto Heat Press and from what I see you can you if you don't have like a heat press machine you can do it like with your um, you know like a handheld heat press, you know, like a Cricut or whatever, but I know that you need to press it for at least, you know, whatever the time is for each item. And it's usually a long time, like this one is 10 minutes. So you are going to use a lot of energy by holding it and pushing it for 10 minutes. So I think I would recommend doing like a heat press, unless you get a smaller one and it's only for three minutes or something like that. And I apologize if you can hear my washing machine. I am multitasking, you gotta get the laundry done and craft. And ours is super duper loud. Oh, it's only really loud when it's on spin. So, okay, let's see. So, all right, so I think I did pretty good. Let me put just a little bit more here. Okay, so I tried to get all of this down so it's, I know it's pressing really good. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it in the auto press and get started. Okay, so I'm using the HTV Ront auto press. We set the temperature for 360, so we're just waiting for it to heat up. And this is actually the first time that I've had to do longer than like 60 seconds. So the HTV Ront goes up to 199 seconds at a time. So we're gonna have to basically just keep doing that like three times plus, I don't know, six seconds or no, three seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the slate and we're gonna place it down on here. 
Okay, so now we are at 360. I always like to place something underneath so you protect the pad. And we're also gonna do the same on top. Go ahead and do it just like this. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put it in and press the down button. And remember, we're gonna do this three times. Okay, so now it just finished the first round and I'm gonna go ahead and just press it back down again. So now we're on round two. Okay, round three. Okay, so we have 30 seconds left. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place it back down one more time to get in those extra three seconds, which I think I'm just gonna round it to like 10 seconds because it was going up, down, up, down. And just wanna make sure I have the full 600 seconds. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna go ahead and take the paper off. I'm so excited. I hope that it works, you guys. Because if it doesn't, I'm probably still gonna load this video and tell you that you probably need to wait to do. Let's go ahead and do 10 more seconds. Because otherwise the video will be about you need to wait until you get the rubber mat. So we're done. Let's go ahead and take it out. Alrighty, let me put my um, gloves on because this is super hot. All right, so let's take this off. And let's just kind of place this over here. And it says, well actually you are supposed to put this like on something that's heat resistant. And really I don't have anything. I usually just stick it on the counter. So that's probably not the right thing to do. And then I'm probably just gonna leave it on here until it kind of cools. So are you guys ready? I hope, I hope this worked. Cause it's so adorable. Let's um, go ahead and and I'm really impressed actually, the tape looks good. Now I don't recommend doing this because I don't know if this will scratch. I'm just trying to get the tape off a little bit. And I'm doing this very, very lightly. Okay. Whoa, it's gonna fall down, let's see. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. So, so far I think it looks, oh my gosh, that's so cool. All right, you guys have to wait. I'm trying to get all this off so I can show it to you all at once. Isn't this so cool? I love it. It's so cool. Now, um, what I did is I made it, remember I said make sure you do it a little bit bigger because you wanted to make sure that you don't leave any white spots because remember it was originally white. But, so anyway, I guess because I did that too, you see it up here, which is totally fine. I think it looks awesome. Isn't that so cool? I'm gonna let it cool down and then we're gonna go ahead and put it on the stand because it is super hot and I don't want to, yeah, I don't know, melt the stand. So I will be back. All right. So what do you guys think of this project? Um, make sure to comment below, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.